Welcome back to the 25 Days of Christmas. My name is Shane Reinert, and uh, we've got another great story today. A coincidence. Give and it will be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over. They will pour it into your lap. For whatever measure you deal out to others, it will be dealt to you in return. Luke 638. I was very proud of my daughter Emily. At only nine years old, she had been carefully saving her allowance money all year and trying to earn the money by doing small jobs around the neighborhood. Emily was determined to save enough money to buy a girl's mountain bike, an item for which she'd been longing and she'd been faithfully putting money away since the beginning of the year. How are you doing, honey? I asked soon after the Thanksgiving. I knew she had hoped to save all the money she needed by the end of the year. I have $49, Daddy, she said, and I'm not sure if I'm going to make it. You work so hard, I said encouragingly. Keep it up. But you know that you can pick from any of my bikes in my collection. Thanks, Daddy. But your bikes are so old. I smiled to myself because I knew she was right. As a collector of vintage bikes, all my girls' bikes were 1950s models. Not the kind a kid would choose today. When the Christmas season arrived, Emily and I went comparison shopping and saw several less expensive bikes for which I thought she'd have to settle. As we left one behind, she noticed a Salvation Army volunteer ringing his bell by a big kettle. Can we give them something, Daddy? she asked. Sorry, Em, I'm out of change, I replied. Emily continued to work hard all through December and it seemed that she might make her goal after all. Then suddenly, one day, she came downstairs to the kitchen and made an announcement to her mother. Mom, she said hesitantly, you know all the money I've been saving? Yes, dear, my wife Diane said. God told me to give it to the poor people. Diane knelt down to Emily's level. That's very kind. That's a very kind thought, sweetheart, but you've been saving all year. Maybe you could give some of it. Emily shook her head vigorously. God said all. When we saw she was serious, we gave her various suggestions about where she could contribute, but Emily said she had received specific instructions. And so on one cold Sunday morning before Christmas, with little fanfare, she handed her total of savings, $58. A surprise and grateful Salvation volunteer received it. Moved by Emily's selflessness, I suddenly noticed that a local car dealer was using was collecting used bicycles to refurbish and give to poor children for Christmas. And I realized that if my nine-year-old daughter could give away all her money, I could certainly give away one bike from my collection. As I picked up a shiny but old-fashioned kid's bike from the line in the garage, it seemed as if a second bike in line seemed to take on a glow. Should I give a second bike? No. Certainly one would be enough. But as I got to my car, I couldn't shake the feeling that I should donate the second bike as well. And if Emily could follow heavenly instructions, I decided I could too. I turned back and loaded the second bike into the trunk and took off for the dealership. When I delivered the bikes, the car dealer thanked me and said, You're making two kids very happy, Mr. Copper. And here are your tickets. Tickets, I asked. Yes, for each bike donated, we're giving away... One chance to win a brand new men's 21 speed mountain bike from a local bike shop. So here are your tickets for your two chances. Why wasn't I surprised when the second ticket won the bike? I can't believe you won, laughed Diane, delighted. I didn't, I said. It's pretty clear that Emily did. And why wasn't I surprised when the bike dealer happened, happily substituted a gorgeous new girl's mountain bike for the man's bike advertised? Coincidence? Maybe. I like to think that it was God's way of rewarding a little girl for a sacrifice beyond her years, while giving her dad a lesson in charity and the power of the Lord. Ed Copper. Keep coming back. There's more uh, great stories coming up on the 25 Days of Christmas. I'm Shane Reinert.